The Grant County Fire District 5 provides emergency medical service to more than 40,000 people, but that service could go away as soon as April. And not only do paramedics and EMTs from Fire District 5 make calls to their own district, but they also make calls to outlying areas, including Afreda, Soap Lake, Warden, Wilson Creek, and Royal City. As KXLY4 Sally Showman reports, this cutback could mean reduced services and loss of dozens of jobs. This isn't some awful nightmare. I was like, this is really happening. Paramedic Matt Bershwalk. USA job site. Spent his day off searching for another paramedic job. Tina has one in Yakima. Although his prospects aren't all that promising. Two or three paramedic jobs in the entire state. Finding a job isn't top on Matt's worry list. It scares me to think that all these people that I've helped in seven months from now, when they call 911 because they're having an emergency and they need someone, that there may not be someone that shows up at their door. Approximately 43,000 people living on 1,300 square miles rely on emergency medical services provided by Matt and his co-workers at Fire District 5. Yesterday, the fire commissioner started notifying all of those communities that emergency medical service will cease in about six months. Lots and lots of reasons. The finances has been the number number one. Commissioner Pat Hochstetter says EMS is not profitable in rural Grant County. The district is more than twenty thousand dollars in the red this year. The board members are all businessmen and we try and treat treat it like it is. We're in the business of saving lives and it saddens me that money is the thing that's going to decide that, you know, if we go and help these people or not. Bourgeois and other paramedics say there's more to the decision than just money. They say the decision comes shortly after the paramedics began to talk about unionizing. It just seems awful suspicious to me. Commissioners hope between now and April, a private company comes forward to take over service. If you guys can't do it and it's not profitable for you, why would anyone else come in and, and take this huge risk? I don't know, but they're doing it all over the place. If no one comes forward, the fire district says it won't abandon the people of Grant County. There will always be some level of service. But for Matt, that's no guarantee. I truly worry about everyone that I've helped. The next step, Fire District 5's chief will be open to talk with anyone who's interested in taking over EMS services for Grant County. In Moses Lake, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.